Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea. If you're new here, if you're not new, welcome back. You're the realist. I appreciate you coming back. That's what happens when you keep coming back. You become the realist, you become spicy, you stay spicy like that sign says. It does not say stay sploy, it says stay spicy. But if you are new, please do subscribe so you can be spicy. Follow me on Instagram, across all social media. I am at I am CC Suarez. That will all be linked down below along with merch and my podcast, Beauty and the Dad Bod. We put out new episodes every Monday. And then if you're actually a Patreon member, then you get two extra episodes every month. And our first hundred Patreon members will actually be receiving a free Beauty and the Dad Bod limited edition shirt. So only those 100 people will have those, which is pretty exciting. Also, I just have to say thank you so much for all the support and love and just every everything that y'all have been saying about the podcast. It means so much to me because me and Josh have been working very hard on it. So thank you very much. And also for your continued support of this channel. I know I hadn't posted much this month. I mean, I did, but I posted less than I usually do um, just because I'm working on some very large projects that probably aren't going to come out until like the end of the year, which is frustrating, but that's all right. Also, I'm extremely tan right now. I know I kind of went a little bit overboard, but it's fine. I use the St. Maria's tanner. It's amazing. It's a mousse. It's chef's kiss. It's my favorite. I have tested out so many self tanners. This one is the best. I will have that link down below. You can get it at Target, Ulta, anywhere like that. And it's amazing. And it's like eight bucks. Today we have top fails number 52, I believe. Yeah, 52. And I'm going to try to do two of these today before I leave for the airport at like 1145, which is in an hour. So <laughs> I'm going to try to film two of these videos right now. It's going to be a struggle. They talk about you, they have to. Because if they talk about themselves, nobody gonna bloody listen. <laughs> Putting my shoes on really fast for the gym. It's six in the morning here in Huntington Beach. So last night Tito Ortiz was talking about what he does with haters. Um, because of course anybody who's in the public light has hate has haters. Um, because you're gonna irritate people's demons, right? And he's talking about how uh, on social media, he goes in and he blocks, deletes, blocks, deletes, blocks, deletes, blocks, deletes. And it's funny because some comments you guys will never see um, that Dave tells me about. Is he's like, there's some people who are like, what are you just going to delete every comment that doesn't agree with, with everything you think about in life? And it made me think last night because the answer is, yeah, literally nowhere in my life do I have time for negativity. Nowhere. So, Yeah. If you don't make me feel happy, um, if you don't make me feel supported, if you don't make me feel uh, joyful. <laughs> Yikes. I said this many times, but there's a fine line between protecting your sanity and creating an echo chamber. And my moderators know this too. If there is someone who, you know, is being just annoying they won't block them, right? And usually they always like screenshot me something and not, I don't want to say ask for approval, but they usually always check with me first because they know a lot of times what I'll do is I'll want that person to keep commenting so I can have it for the uh, reading hate comments video that I do like every month or two now. But the thing is, is that even if someone disagrees with you, it doesn't mean they're a hater. If they disagree with your opinion on something, that's not being a hater. But keep in mind, now if someone is spreading false information, if someone is disagreeing with your opinion, I don't know why I just did so many air quotes, but if they're disagreeing with your opinion regarding facts, like for instance, me saying multi-level marketing companies are unethical because of X, Y, and Z. And then they say, okay, well, you're wrong. Well, why? Because it's just my opinion. I just disagree with you. Okay, but why? So there, there is a clear, a clear difference there. I am, <laughs> I definitely do block a lot of people from my channel. I mean, people are just annoying. And I'm allowed to do that. I feel like my lips are like disappearing into my face. Yeah, my lips are like disappearing into my face. So put this on and it'll stay all day long. Also, I think it's really funny that she is saying Dave because that's what she calls the person who like goes through and like deletes basically like her moderator, right? For Instagram or TikTok or Facebook. But the thing is, is that I have had so many people tell me that it's not some guy named Dave, right? It's people who are in her downline that she has work for her. And it's just like, girl, like, why, why not? Like, it's just, it's just like the lying for just the sake of lying. And it doesn't make any sense. Like, why don't you just say my moderators? Like, that still sounds cool too, you know? Instead of, yeah, I've uh, get yourself a Dave. I've hired Dave. Come up with a more generic white guy name. Come on. So weird. Also, I know I'm like hung up on this, but I do think it's really funny that she's like, yes, yeah, so I was talking to Tito Ortiz. 
And like he was telling me about the haters because, you know, if you're in the public eye, you're going to have them. For someone who doesn't care about the haters, she sure does spend a lot of time talking about the haters. (laughs) I mean, a a real here and there, a TikTok here and there, a post here and there. Like, okay, like it's funny. And sure, I mean, I shit, I make videos fully about people who leave annoying comments. But yeah, I don't like it. All right, this one has sounds so sorry. We can't play it. Someone was telling me that I think it was Josh. Yeah, it was Josh was telling me that if I adjust the pitch on the on the uh, TikToks that I'll be able to play the music. But I don't know if that's accurate. I'm not sure. I'm not trying to get copyright stroked. Okay, your girl's got to make money. All right. So uh, this girl said you should start being more skeptical of constantly being broke than you are about network marketing. The real scam was me working 65 hours a week without a savings account and just a mound of debt to show for it. That sounds like that sounds like you make poor decisions (laughs) working 65 hours a week. So if you're making even ten dollars an hour at 65 at 65 hours a week, that's twenty six hundred a month, obviously before taxes. So I know in Florida we have less um, income tax or well we don't have any income tax, but less than other states. So let's let's just say it would be what like twenty two hundred a month, and so I mean that's what like thirty thirty thousand a year. And don't get me wrong, I have had people comment before and be like, oh my god, it's so like privileged of you to say like, oh well, you're just making poor financial decisions. No, I've been there. I just I just paid off my debt this year, and it's an amazing feeling. And I cried, <laughs> I cried when I paid off my Chase card. But the thing is, is that I I made poor financial decisions. If you're in if you're in debt, you have no one to blame for that other than yourself, right? I mean, this is that's just what happens. Of course, like school debt and things like that, that's a little bit different. But <laughs> you're the one who took out the loans. Well, who else are you going to blame? And then also, I don't know what rank this girl's at. I don't even know what MLM she's in. But the majority of people in MLMs will never see $30,000 profit. Profit, not revenue. Profit. Like, how is that a scam without a savings account? Well, okay, you should have opened one and just a mound of debt to show for it. Girl, I do understand how that like, it does suck when you are working really hard and then you're trying to pay these things off, but then because of interest payments and things like that, you like, you can't. Oh my God, it was the fucking worst. It was really the worst. It was horrible. Sucked real bad. So happy I don't have to deal with that shit now. You should be more skeptical of constantly being broke than of network marketing. No. Oh, dang. We should have we should have watched this one first before we watched the first Boss Lee one because this one kind of explains what she was talking about. I don't care when I'm with my baby. Mm-hmm. No. Immediately, no. Immediately, well. no. Immediately, no. Immediately, no. I'm telling you right now. I seen see what no. I needed to see. Because I don't care when I'm with my mm-hmm. baby. No. Immediately. With- Listen, I'll give her this she's like on it with the reels okay like i don't know if y'all experience this but as a content creator i get like so annoyed with myself and like trying to put out (laughs) reels and i'm just like how do i make it like go with my content like i don't want to do makeup ones i don't like i don't i don't know so i've done like one i mean i guess i kind of did two but i've been trying (laughs) i say really hard but like have i to like put out reels and like come up with ideas so i'll give her that she's she puts out so I mean yeah they might be stupid as fuck but she does put out so many reels and I've said before she does work really hard it's not healthy though not saying having a good work work ethic isn't hard but there's a there's it's I don't think it's mentally like good for her anyways so this says steps for how to handle haters in your comment section in the caption Uh, and it says here's my step by step on success for handling comments from haters that's doesn't sound right One, hire a Dave, lol. I have a staff member whose entire job is to do the following. You can do it yourself, by the way. I would just rather not ever see it. It's an immediate no for me. Immediately go to their page and block them. You can't convince stupid of anything. Don't bother fighting. Okay, so delete comments, repeat when necessary, never respond, go on with your life, you badass you. Um, share this and save. If haters are an immediate no for you too, drop me a heart down below. So like I said before, the thing is, is that with MLMs and this MLM culture and this boss babe culture, certain things... It's easy to believe what they're saying because there is some truth in it. But typically, (laughs) if you just look a little deeper, you can see that like, oh, no, wait, that's actually really unhealthy. 
So yes, typically if someone's just going to leave a hate comment, an actual hate comment, then yeah, just block them. Who cares? But is that what you're doing? Or are you going through my likes and the people who follow me or comment on my videos or comment on my Instagram posts? And are you going to their pages and blocking them even though they've never engaged with you just because they follow me? Again, if you have been blocked by Boss Lee, leave it in the comments below. <laughs> I think it's interesting and just shows the the mindset of I'm always right. No one can argue with me. You're wrong. You're just a hater and really living in an echo chamber. I mean, she's she's destroyed people's lives from what I have been told by those certain people that she's ruins their lives just because she was challenged by them. And apparently, allegedly, whatever, I have had multiple people DM me that are on her team now saying that now she's trying to take down this this one girl who's below her, but who is doing better than her apparently. And like people like that girl more. It's so crazy. But of course, uh, this is just like how Josh and I talked about in our first podcast episode about cancel culture. She is someone who likes to play the villain and really thrives off of that. It's weird. All right. So this one said, thought about calling in sick, but then I remembered I'm the boss and I get to play with makeup as a job. Do you get paid for playing with makeup? Because I'm pretty positive you don't. And you get paid for selling shitty makeup and recruiting people to do the same. So dumb. Also, like if you're sick, just don't work. If you actually are the boss and if you're actually signing those paychecks, then no, you don't have to go into work if you're sick. Can we stop with the the hustle culture, please? Yes, to an extent. It's all right. It's okay. I'm going to make it anyway. Is that a song lyric? But I mean, y'all saw on my Instagram this past week, I was like, I wanted to work today. What was it? Tuesday? What's today? Today's Thursday. Yeah. So yesterday, yesterday I did more like admin stuff and um, got really organized and then had a meeting and then and then went shopping. Um, and then Tuesday, I was supposed to batch film, but I didn't because I was on my period and it was so bad. Like it, w I was in so much pain. So I sat in the love sack, which now has laundry in it because Tony just dumped that all in here. But I sat here and I Y'all saw my Instagram. I turned my computer and I was watching Dragon Ball Z and just having the best day ever and just chilling as Wiggum as my heating pad because I actually work for myself. When you actually work for yourself, you create your own schedule and you don't, it's just bullshit. And I'm fucking tired of it. <laughs> fucking tired of it. All right. So if y'all saw anything about Monations this year, Monate's convention, they came out with a new product and it's like the the damage repair line, I think is what it's called. Yeah, damage repair line. And now this is one of the top people in Monate and it says, before, after a week of using hot tools twice a day, no washing, sleeping in buns, and mechanical and chemical damage. What the fuck is mechanical damage? What it, what? Are you like hitting your hair with a wrench? Mechanical hair, mechanical hair damage. Okay, so we're learning something new every day. Mechanical damage refers to damage that occurs due to improper handling of the hair. Improper handling includes improper detangling techniques, tension from braids, weaves, high ponytails, extensions, or over manipulation. Okay, so just being rough as fuck with your hair. All right. Just like mechanical damage sounds weird. I mean, it's a thing though. Okay, so this person has been in Monate for o over three years. Let's just say over three years. She's at the very top. She's annoying as hell. And so she's saying that this is how damaged her hair is after a week of doing whatever. And then also after three years of already using Monet products. So your hair is very damaged is what you're saying. And then it says after one wash using our damage repair line. But if you talk constantly about how your hair is so perfect because of Monet products, but now you're now you're saying that your hair was so damaged and now it's like perfect because of this new line. Like what are what are y'all doing? Please tell me y'all are like shaking your head at this too. Also, my my hair looks whack after, you know, sleeping in buns and, you know, not washing it or like I'll I'll wash it and then I'll put it in a bun like while it's not dry. Or I'll, I mean, you get it. Sometimes your hair just looks like shit and that's okay. What your hair looks like does not determine your worth or your beauty at all. I will shave my goddamn head right now and look like a little peanut. 
But like I, I have a before and after I think on my Instagram of my hair looking real whack and then using the restructuring line from Fanola, I do the shampoo and then I did the uh, the mask, which comes in like a big tub and I just Winnie the Pooh that shit while I'm in the shower. So I do that and then blow drying my hair after well, brushing it with a wet brush um, in the shower and then brushing it out. And then while my hair is still a little bit damp, using the serum and then blow drying it in sections. And it looks so fucking beautiful. And it does actually look similar to this like before and after she's doing. And guess what? Funola products are fucking cheaper than this bullshit. And it's not going to make your hair fall out. And it's not going to give you fucking chemical burns. Okay. So the product that is used in the new damage repair line is called Desert Date Oil. Okay. This product is exclusive to Monate. This particular ingredient is not used in any product on the market do they not google things i mean why am i even asking we know they don't all you got to do desert date oil for hair there's quite a lot of yeah there's actually quite a lot of brands and different companies that pop up like what the fuck are y'all doing also that company vegamore the one that's been trolling monate in a bunch of their ad campaigns it's so funny they wanted to work with me and i even told them i was like listen i want to try your products first so they're gonna have me pick out which ones i want to try i'm gonna try and get back to them and i'm really hoping that i can work it out and fit it within my filming schedule to do a sponsorship with them because they just troll monate so hard and i love it but yeah i would love to do that because apparently the uh grow and advanced hair serum is similar to the what is it the like rejuvenate re- rejuva rejuva shit that monate has and it's vegan cruelty free and it's 50 percent cheaper than monate's products which is fucking awesome and i know a lot of people were have been asking a lot lately like okay why well, did this and now you know i don't know what hair products to use after monate so i always say redken olaplex Fanola, all three of those are professional quality brands, professional brands. And Fanola, I believe, is the cheapest of those, or most affordable, not cheapest, most affordable. And I love those. I've used all of them, but Fanola, I'm like a ride or die for. Y'all know I've been affiliate with them for like, what, two, three years now? Love them so much. Been using them for even longer because my stylist uses them, or my old stylist used to use them, and she's an affiliate with them as well. But um, yeah, it's amazing. So I'm going to try out Vegamore too, and hopefully... It's good because I love the fact that they have been trolling Monet and it's so funny. Yeah, so the, it's it's just crazy that these people don't know, truly don't know what the hell they're talking about and they just, it, it's crazy. Okay, um, this one is the Drake song. I was running through the streets with my, with my woe. I don't know if those are the lyrics, I have no idea. And it says, I'm a Latina woman whose business did seven, did seven figures in 2020. Your business did seven figures? No. On all accounts, no. Did, what? What? So did you sell a million dollars worth of product? Are, you, are we talking revenue? Are we talking profits? Is that just your downline? Probably not. Either way, it's not your business. And then it says read caption. And so someone commented and said, the change doesn't count. Uh, meaning like someone saying that like five cents is three figures. That's hilarious. And all these other people are like the people who comment on their reels and the people who engage with them. 90, let's be generous. 80% of the time, it's people within the their own MLM. Like, love, yes, you did that. Your story's so inspiring. Clap emojis. Like, it's their fucking downline. That's what it is. And someone else commented, how much was the net? Meaning the the net income. What, like, what was the profit? Oh, my God. Yes to the DACA dream. Stop. Oh, my God. That's not the dream. This is why America is the greatest nation in the world. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Oh, Jesus. So much respect for you. Yeah, but how much did you, <laughs> how much profit did you make? Oh, I love this. You pass as white though. That's fucking frustrating. And also like, that just, that pisses me off. Why does sex and ethnicity matter? True, but also be proud. Be fucking proud, you know? Especially if you're like a first, first, second or third generation American. Fuck yeah. No one cares that you're Latina. I care. Congrats, but what does your ethnicity have to do with anything? Oh, this is sad. <laughs> Another person said lame as fuck. Oh, oh God. She got roasted. That's so sad. Okay, so you you clearly get the point that all these, like the positive comments are from people in her, her downline basically, right? But then from the outside world, the people that she would, you know, the people that ide- ideally to them would be their new recruits or their leads, their potentials, if you will. Those people are all roasting her. So again, it is a closed market. The amount of boss Lee clips in these videos now. Okay, it says, I have big news. 
I'm hosting another $20,000 plus giveaway. Costs nothing to enter September 20th to September 24th. Want to be added to the giveaway group? Before it begins, follow me, drop the word fall in the comments, share, and get lucky. MacBooks and more. Again, P.S. I'll never make more than one profile, so do not get scammed. Be smart. One thing that's interesting is that for the last one, people kept messaging me and being like, hey, she's saying that it doesn't cost anything to enter, but like you, you have to be on her team. Like she changed the rules apparently. I was like, what the fuck? Like that's, I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to do that. You can't, that goes against like mostly all MLM's policies and procedures that you're not allowed to like entice people to sign up or pay them to sign up. That's crazy. So I think that's why possibly, if that is true, why she didn't have it like be one of the rules that you had to like be on her team to be able to win. I wonder how much money she spends. I, she does make a lot of money. We're not gonna, we're not gonna discount that. She does. But how much money you spend in to continue to make that type of money? That's just, it's egregious. This woman, I swear to God. Hey, I have that belt. Um, so, so Jacqueline Ortega is one of the highest earning people in Monet. And seeing how people were treating her like a celebrity at Monations was so fucking cringy. Like it was so cringy. It was horrible. Also, girl, you're just not gonna put foundation on like, into your hairline or on your ears you got all that money and you can't you can't blend your makeup onto your ears also why are you orange and then at the beginning of that reel it's like the, the, the like lip syncing isn't even like synced up it's really funny the like hairstyles that she had done for the um for monations though were they were pretty badass it gave me a uh, uh christine was that her name christine from selling sunset vibes she always always had like the best hair ten dollar products on sale now color locking and protective spray and all these other things. Run, don't walk. Girl, swear to God, they do a fucking flash sale every like five minutes and it's so annoying. It's so annoying. Like, ugh. I can understand if it was like bundles. Like I know Fanola has like their bundles to where like it is cheaper and it just makes more sense for you to buy that instead. But if your products are like so luxury. Also, there's a difference though between professional quality products and luxury products, you know? Like I would, I would consider like caviar. That's a brand, right? My, yeah right <laughs> like caviar that is a like that's a luxury brand I would think L luxury I mean I guess let's say high-end instead of luxury that's a high-end brand and then like Redken, Fanola, Olaplex like those are professional brands like yeah they're more expensive but it's not like the like luxury I, does that make sense I don't know also tell me you are the customer without telling me you're the customer like all, all the people who follow you are also in Monate so like who are you selling to probably no one um, so th this one was actually in the beginning of the other one, the first one we did, but I like didn't even react to it. Nobody talk about you. They have to, because if they talk about themselves, nobody going to bloody listen. <laughs> they talk about you. They have to. I don't know why, but that voice fits her so well. Also, the way she was like leaning over made her look real skinny. Good for her. But also that's like such an awkward, like, why are you doing that? I don't know. Imagine being so irrelevant that you have to talk about other people, blah, 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 whatever the fuck her caption says. Girl, stop focusing on what I am saying about you and go to the salon that you own and trim your goddamn tape in extensions. It is atrocious and offensive and ridiculous. Like why... Why? Why are they two to three inches longer? Oh my God. <laughs> this caption right here was the caption of the first one that we just watched that, that had the laugh at the end of it. Like, <laughs> like it sounded like, it sounds like her name should be Helga, but not Helga Pataki. Maybe. Jesse Lee, do you, have, do you have a bubblegum shrine of me in the back of your closet? Anyway, so the caption of that one says, imagine being so irrelevant that you have to use other people's brands to siphon a follower account. I'm not a celebrity, lol, but I think about how many people made their entire careers off of hating on celebrities. Is it so hard for you to create content on your own? Drop a fire emoji, blah, 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 blah. Hate is so grossly unoriginal. Use your platform for good. Not everyone who disagrees with you is a hater. Not everyone who disagrees with you is toxic. There's a difference between opinions and facts. You can't argue with facts. You can argue with opinions and that's fine. However, I'm not a celebrity. LOL. Um, imagine being so irrelevant that you have to use other people's brands to siphon a follower account. That is rich coming from someone who allegedly gained so many followers because she took part in a loop giveaway on Instagram. So that's the ones like you see, uh, like the Kardashians do them quite a bit, but these companies pay the Kardashians to do it. And I've gotten emails to 
join in on them too. So for instance, a few that, I don't know how this person gets my email, but a person that was hosting one that Kylie Jenner was going to be promoting. And I want to do a whole video on loop giveaways because they're so shitty. Um, girl gangs, that's girl gangs with a Z, 733 or 773 on Instagram. She has talked a lot about them and I'm pretty sure she has a uh, like a highlight on her Instagram about it. It's crazy. Now with the loop giveaways, I'll just explain it real quick. So Kylie Jenner, or let's just use them as, as an example because they do them a lot. So a company, a marketing company, will pay Kylie Jenner a hundred thousand dollars or usually more to post a picture and to like be the host of the giveaway basically. So she'll take a picture with a bunch of fucking bags and shit and she'll say me me and whatever marketing company are giving away all of this and you know a thousand dollars or whatever the prize is. All you have to do is go to this page and follow everyone that they're following. So then you go to that page, follow all those people. There have been times where it's like 60 people. Now all those people, what will happen is that the company will email out things to influencers, bloggers, whoever, and they will say, would you like to be a part of this giveaway? It costs, here's how you can benefit from it, which rarely do you actually benefit from it. And it'll be anywhere from $2,000 to $10,000, sometimes even more, $15,000 to be a participant in that loop giveaway, basically for your account to be one of the ones that's followed. Now, when people follow you, I've done, I've, I've entered one of those giveaways, but then right after I see who wins, I go in and I unfollow all those people because I don't want to follow those fucking people. It's like random MLM people like her, doctor's offices or like surgeons who are trying to become Instagram famous, um, sometimes realtors, other like scammy people. It's just like a bunch of people who want to get those followers. And it's annoying. That's personally why a lot of times I don't like to do giveaways because then I get people who subscribe to me or follow me. And then usually about 75 to 80% of those people will unfollow you after the giveaway. I don't like that. So I just find it better to do like a, a giveaway like for my followers, if that makes sense. Plus then like I know who it's going to and I know they actually like me and they're not just, you know, a psycho. But think about it. If you're participating in a loop giveaway, then yeah, you, <laughs> that's what you're doing. You are so irrelevant that you have to use other people's followings, which is what the loop giveaway does. It uses that famous person's platform to then get you all those followers. So... Yeah. And it's, th that's not, that's not real followers. Like that's even more shitty than actually just going and paying for followers because yeah, it's real account, but they're going to unfollow you. Sorry for going on a rant. It's just really annoying. Okay. We only have two more and then I got to go. Oh my God. So embarrassing. Jasmine and Christy, what are y'all doing? Okay. The caption says it's official friends. I am Maxwell certified. We graduated today. Here's our graduation dance. Graduated from what? From what? Like this is so embarrassing. This like PhD master's graduation whatever for Monet from the like Maxwell whoever guy it's so embarrassing you can't it's pointless it's useless can that can that go on your resume no because no one else would know what the fuck it is no one else cares if it's like a certification a, a accreditation something like that it has to be able to transfer to to somewhere else to actually like be worth it to actually mean something like Tony got his um it, what is it FAA is that the fucking flying stuff yeah so tony got that and and he has to do like the continuum of education stuff every year every two years every two years he just had to redo it and like that's that's good for him that can like transfer to another employer or like that can go on his resume if he ever you know works somewhere else or in a different field like getting an insurance license getting any other type of like license or something like see it's it means something in the real world this means nothing this is embarrassing we went from like playing business and playing dress up and playing Zoom call to now playing graduate, even though these people, blanket statement, but many people in Monet have said so many times, oh, you don't need school. You don't need a degree. You don't need this. And many times we'll shit on education and people going to school and people having student loans. Like, but not, what? But now you want to play graduation? Okay. Okay. God damn. I mean, they've already been playing influencer, so whatever. Oh God. All right. This one says when you could be, I feel like this one's satire. I don't know though. When you could be in a pyramid scheme making 1576 a year, but instead you're stuck in a real job that pays the bills. Oh, okay. It is satire. Oh, I know her. She's funny as hell. I've said this many times. I know I blind react. No shade, just shining. Just a few of the people who make up the RB squad. Put these on and pose. Ugh. 
and they're playing Day and Night by Kid Cudi. How dare you desecrate these beautiful glasses. So how like, and they're not doing it ironically. How funny is that? They're like completely serious. Oh my God, my eyeballs. Um, but also how dare you disrespect my king, Kid Cudi, like that. I fucking love Kid Cudi so much. He is the best human in the world. All right, that's it. I gotta, I gotta go catch a flight. I actually have to poop first. Um, anyways, I hope y'all have a great rest of your night, day, weekend, whenever you're watching this. Subscribe, like, comment, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is at IMCC Suarez. I'm over on TikTok as well and on Twitter. Join the Reddit community. It's real fun over there. I love talking to y'all over there. Make sure that you, I'm giving you like so many things to do. It's your homework, basically. Um, I am loving the podcast. It is so much fun. So please subscribe to our podcast channel. That's linked down below. And then also you can listen to us wherever you get your podcasts. Remember how valuable you are. You are amazing. Please don't fall for this BS. Whatever you're going through right now, it is temporary. Please remind yourself of that. You got this. You are a badass. Keep those boundaries sturdy. Stay assertive. If it costs you your sanity, it's too damn expensive. Stay spicy. And I'll see you in my next video, which will hopefully this one goes up this week, either today or tomorrow. Um, but I will see you in my next video, which will most likely be next week. Okay, bye.